Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd share with you guys how I watercolor for my war binder. I have been really into my journaling and I love watercolor and pencils and pens and doodling and drawing. And my doodling and drawing may not be the best, <laughs> but it is my artwork and that's what's important to me. So um, I've been working on some doodles that I watercolor and I thought I could cut them out and use them like as embellishments in my little war binder that I'm showing you here. It's simple in its form, but it's mighty in its purpose, if you will. And I'm just gonna do a quick flip through of some of my beginning pages here. Um, and a war binder simply is something that you're warring for and my war is to become plus free. I am on a weight loss journey and this war binder is just a representation of everything that I want out of life that being a plus size person keeps me from. So I put pictures down, um, I clip things from magazines, um, I take pictures, I draw, um, I use a lot of colored pencils and some markers in my war binder. The paper's thin, it's not this big expensive journal. So um, watercolor definitely would not work in my journal, but I love watercoloring. So I came up with this nifty idea that, well, what if I watercolor on other paper and kind of cut it out and use it like as a sticker or an embellishment in my war binder. So that's really what I wanna to do today. And I'm just showing you some things like these pages are the representation of some places I would love to walk and I would love to ride horses and drink coffee in different places and really be a bad butt person <laughs> in exercising. And I'm just showing you here that this is some of the mediums I use. I use markers and I use colored pencils and whereas it does look decent, I would love to add like this. Watercolor is so vivid and so bright and so beautiful. And my drawing, like I said, is not the best, my sketching, but it is my own. So I really wanna add those things. So to start the video off, I thought I would show you some of the mediums that I'm using, which happens to be watercolor pencils. And I also picked up this nice 24 um, color paint set. Uh, I bought my pencils and the set from Hobby Lobby probably last year. I haven't got much use out of it, but I'm determined to use it. They were not expensive by any means. This is one of the cheaper brands of watercolors and also my watercolor pencils. But let me tell you guys, they really do do the trick. And that big watercolor set came with um, that little plastic thing where you can mix your, like the artistic wheel. That's what I was taught it was called. <laughs> and I got a cheap set of nice watercolor um um, I was going to call them markers, but they're not markers, they're paintbrushes, with different tips to get different angles and things like that. I also had one of those brushes that you fill with water. Um, it has a thicker, um, fuller brush at the bottom. And I am just using a simple mechanical pencil because I don't have to sharpen. It's just easier to put my sketches down. And then I'm using a precision pen which has a very fine point so that um, after I get the watercolor down, if I wanna make some lines very um, sharp for you to see, that's what I would use. And these are my simple sketches that I did with my little mechanical pencil. Like I said, guys, my drawing is not the best, but the more I do it and the more practice I get myself, the better I will get at it. But for right now, that's what it is. So I thought I would take those simple three images and get them watercolored. And when I'm done watercoloring them, I can um, cut them out and use them in different places in my war binder or in my other journaling or my bullet journal, whatever journal I choose. And it would give a, such a beautiful pop of color. And that is my goal. So the first thing I thought I would try is I thought I would pick a few little colors and see how my um, watercolor pencils do because I really do like using pencils. I use them often. It's something that I'm very comfortable with. I'm not so as comfortable, I should put, with watercoloring with paint brushes. I really do love <laughs> my pencils because I use them all the time in all of my journals. 
I use um, colored pencils constantly in my bullet journal. I did treat myself and I got some new tomboys because the more videos I watch, the more um, things that I see, I'm just like, wow, these tomboy like pens and markers and things like that, they really do make a difference and I'm really drawn to them. So I did treat myself and get some new ones. So some of my new artwork that I'll be sharing with you guys, I will probably be using more markers than um, pencils. So I'm really excited about that. So all I did was just put some um, pencil markings down and then I wet my brush and then I go in and they do blend very nicely. You do get a nice color, but what I'm noticing, which I think you guys will notice too as I do a little bit more here, is that um, the pencils give the watercolor a very light color. And when I move on and start using the actual watercolor um, paint from the tubes, the color is much more vibrant and I am a very bright vibrant person so those kind of um, appeal to me more but for this particular thing that I'm doing which happens to be just some deer antlers with a little flower crown in the middle the mark the not markers I'm sorry the pencils really work better because you can get in there more the drawing itself is kind of small as you can see so the pencils really do do the job for like the smaller scale kind of sketching but to be completely honest with you I really do like the actual watercolor better just because I love that vibrant look I love bright colors that's just who I am but um, they do do the job and I do like them. So I do like both mediums and I have a feeling the more I do do watercolor and I use paint brushes, which I have been a lot, I'm getting much more comfortable and I'm really enjoying something that I really thought I could not do. And I have tons of like little scrap paper that I just keep practicing different things. Like I'm trying right now to learn how to watercolor trees. They look so simple when other people do them, but when I try to do them, <laughs> they are like the hardest thing in the world to do. So I just keep practicing and practicing and practicing. And another thing that I'm also learning to do is I do a lot of sketching on smaller scale paper and watercolor it and do everything that I'm going to do to see if I even like it or if I like how I sketched or drew something before I actually commit and put it permanently in a binder or use it for a cover page or whatever that may be. So I'm going to move on and start actually using my watercolors from a watercolor tube and I do my complete hummingbird in watercolors from the paint set and you're gonna see how much more vibrant it is but I do love how my little antlers there with the flower crown did turn out um, I'm gonna go back in after it dries um, and add some finer details that is one thing I'm learning and if you're new to watercoloring like I am myself I don't know how well of well I should be giving pointers I haven't been doing this for a long time but one thing that I am learning is that when you're using watercolor you really do need to allow things to dry and then once they dry you go back in and add other details more color or um, another layer or whatever it is that you're doing but the secret is really and truly to allow the first like so-called layer that you put down to dry so that your painting doesn't get muddy because I've done that and I think that was one of the reasons that really discouraged me from watercoloring was I think when I first got my watercoloring set I started to use it in my Bible journaling and my Bible journaling pages would just turn out so muddy they just they did not hold the color the way I wanted it or I saw it in my head everything looked muddy but what I'm learning was out of my impatience and not allowing the first layer to dry and then going in over it with different colors and um, bringing fine lines and things like that I really just muddied the picture so one thing that watercolor is teaching me is patience and it makes the world of difference so 
basically all I'm doing here is I'm trying to define colors so that's why I'm trying to think in my head okay because I want my hummingbird to be very bright hummingbirds are very bright they're very beautiful and I'm trying to make distinctions I want the back wing the smaller wing that's like behind the bird to be a different color than the wing that's the closest to you simply because it's it's at a different angle and it's um, hitting the light a different way and you're seeing it from the front where as the one that's closest to us that we're looking at you're seeing the underside of the bird so that would definitely be a different color so when you see me pause here <laughs> off and on off and on it's because I'm trying to think about what the bird would look like if it was like at a hummingbird feeder and how you would see it and I just go for it and I really did enjoy it I really did I'm gonna speed it up here a little bit because I do take a lot of my time and there is some process here where you have to allow the paint to dry like I just said and go in with different colors so I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit so you guys can kind of see the process um, in its entirety and I really love it and I loved it so much that I actually went back in and did this flower wreath so to speak all with watercolor too and let me tell you I was so nervous because I'm really trying to perfect my sketching of flowers and things like that animals and flowers I love and I want to draw them so desperately but I'm all you know this is all still new to me and uh, to go in with the watercolor and be able to achieve what I achieved I was so stinking proud of myself let me tell you and um, yeah I'll let you be the judge of that too So all I'm doing is just putting some color down um, for the roses, which are the three biggest flowers, the biggest statement pieces, if you will. And then I'm going to go in with a smaller, um, more like precision tipped um, paintbrush and do um, the berries and um, like the vining and things like that. I've learned to do those kinds of things that you're not going to add a lot of water to first and let them dry and then move around like don't work around the places you just put a lot of color if that makes sense because again you're trying to avoid that muddying of the colors so these are just some like I don't even know how to put it simple tips that I'm kind of learning on my own as I go and if you guys want to get into watercoloring and all that and again I apologize I'm kind of working off of camera I was really into what I was doing <laughs> here I moved it for you <laughs> in the last second I realized up oh, I'm walking I'm working off of camera but anyways if you guys would really like to get into watercoloring my biggest suggestion to you is just to do it that's what I started to do I just did it I watched a few videos on YouTube took some of their tips um, applied them and then as I started doing the watercoloring I learned my own techniques my own little tips my own little things I saw muddying I saw how to get different colors blending I saw how to make it work so that it didn't turn into like a blob on a piece of paper <laughs> And I really love the idea of putting my watercoloring, like as you're seeing, on a smaller um, piece of paper that's not in a binder, that's not going to be quote unquote permanent, like in something like my war binder, my bullet journal, so that if it turned out horrible, I can just pitch it or whatever. But these worked out beautifully in my personal opinion, and I will cut them up and I will paste them into my war binders and my bullet journal or whatever it is that I want to use them as. And I really love that idea that I can make my own artwork and because like I said before in the beginning of the video my binders my war binder my bullet journal really isn't the kind of paper that would take watercolor or wouldn't bleed onto the other side or warp the paper and make the other side kind of like non-usable to journal on um, this works perfect and 
I don't I think it turned out pretty well I have it sped up a little bit for you guys because otherwise this this video would be like two hours because <laughs> you have to allow time in there to, for the paint to dry and things like that but what I'm really learning is that when you go to buy yourself some um, paint brushes make sure you get yourself a set that has different size tips it really does make the world of difference because the si different sizes allow you to do different techniques it allows um, different things to come and like pop up off the page and you can do smaller spaces and cover bigger spaces depending on the tip of your brush so every time you see me go wipe and stuff like that I'm using different brushes and then right here I'm showing you um, up close you guys can kind of see where I left it just kind of blank because those lines I wanted black so I'm just showing you I'm going to use my precision tip um, pen here and go in and fill in those lines and make some marks where there would be some like natural um, shading and places I want to pop um, the way it looks and I think you guys can kind of see what I'm trying to talk about now you can kind of see a little bit more in depth I'm going to give you an even closer view the pen just brings some of that to life it just it causes some natural shading and it just makes some um, edges more sharper so I really like the watercolor with the precision pen so that is my little antlers with a simple flower crown my hummingbird and I don't know what you want to call that flower half wreath I'm not sure but I think it turned out pretty good I don't know you guys let me know I'm not an expert watercolor or anything of that nature or a sketch artist this is just my personal work and I don't think it turned out too bad I was actually very proud of it and I can't wait to have it displayed in my binders I hope you guys enjoyed this simple video it was just simple and I hope that if you start watercoloring you'll just go for it and enjoy it and if you do make sure you share it with me on Instagram I'll have them linked down below you guys have a great day keep creating do what you love doesn't matter what it looks like as long as you love it it's the best thing ever I love you guys and I'll be talking to you soon in another video bye